Hey, this video is how you can help with the search for extraterrestrial intelligence by installing SETI at home on your Linux computer. Okay, first we're going to open up a uh, terminal. We're going to type in sudo apt install boink dash client boink dash manager yes Okay, that's installed. Now we're going <clears> to <throat> bring up the Boink Manager. And we're going to set it up for first time use. Okay, the first thing we need to do is select SETI at Home in the gray box. then hit next and if you're a new user fill in this information here click yes if you're an existing user enter your email address in the box and your password And next. Finish. Now we're going to set up our computing options. We're going to tell it to suspend when computer is in use. And we want it to make to wait 60 minutes since the last keyboard or mouse entry. I'm setting mine up to not use more than 25% of the CPU time. And here I'm going to tell it to only do it between 0100 and 0500. I'm going to set up the same times for transferring files. I'm going to tell it to not use more than 100 gigabytes of disk space. And that's it. City at Home is up and running. And down in the lower corner, you can see that so far I've done 30,192 <coughs> um, work bits. Um, click on notices there. And it looks like the uh, University of Berkeley is having an issue with their network connection right now. So we can close that out. And here we have an update. Um, this is one day of use. This is a second day of use, 30,319. 
Now here's some uh, command line <coughs> instructions. Uh, we can uh, check the status and restart the uh, client. So do slash etc slash init.d slash boink dash client and then I'm going to restart the program here. You can also stop it or select start. Now we're going to check the status. And you can see on the third line there it is active and running. And now you're helping in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And here we have the event log. And you can see when it's uh, started and finished uploading, that it's doing computations, and that it suspended computation for the time of day that I set up, and uh, suspending network activity. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Thank you. Hi, if you've enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in any way, please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 1,000 subscribers. If you subscribe and leave a comment, I'll subscribe to your channel and help you out too. Thanks.